Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads uh, the roller coaster car travels down the hairy car path at constant speed such that the parametric equations that define its position are x equal to c sine kt, y equal to c cos kt, and z equal to h minus bt, where c, h, and b are constants, determine the magnitudes of ice velocity and acceleration. This problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RSC Ibella. Alright, so what do we have? So we've been given the positions x equal to c sine kt. Okay, where c is the constant. So we have, if we have to find the derivative for this one, we'll have xt. I mean x dot x dot here is a derivative of a position in the x direction with respect to t so x dot is just going to be equal to uh, ck cos kt and the double derivative uh, the second derivative this just becomes uh, minus c k squared uh, sine uh, k t okay okay then we have y equal to c cos kt this one y dot is just equal to ck minus uh, minus ck sine kt and then y double dot it just remains as minus uh, ck squared uh, cos kt and then we have z uh, which is h minus bt okay so z dot this is just going to be equal to a minus a b and uh, z double dot in the z direction is just equal to zero right so with this information we can simply say the magnitude of our velocity for this roller coaster is just equal to x dot squared plus y dot squared plus z dot squared okay and this therefore gives us what do, what do we have? Well, we have uh, CK uh, cos KT squared plus um, minus CK sine kt squared plus um, minus b squared okay and then we, we bracket them like so and therefore our velocity is just going to be equal to the magnitude is equal to so this and this we can factor out ck mm -hmm. so this becomes ck squared okay cos cos k this cos cos kt squared this one plus sine squared kt this one is equal to one okay okay 
so it disappears we just remain with this then we have plus uh, b squared so basically this is the velocity ck squared plus uh, if I was to rewrite it like so maybe I say c squared k squared plus p squared all right so this is our velocity uh, this is our magnitude of our velocity right let's work out the acceleration so we know that acceleration itself also is equal to uh, x double dot squared plus y double dot squared plus z double dot squared therefore our acceleration replacing values this just becomes equal to let's do so uh, what do we have we have minus ck uh, ck squared sine kt okay plus uh, minus ck squared cos kt okay plus um zero okay so plus zero therefore our a is just going to be equal to again here we have sine kt sine squared kt plus cos squared kt this is also equal to one therefore so therefore we have a we factored out if you've seen here we factored out ck squared uh, squared then we factored out just sine squared kt plus cos squared kt okay and this part is one right so here we have c to the power two then k to the power four okay therefore our a here is just equal to c k squared right i think this is about it let's outline the solutions so we have a here like so uh, then we have a b like so right like so okay i think this is about it and i hope this video is helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast